Hey everyone, welcome back to another FSD Beta version 10.12.2 video. I've got a good one for you today. We take a route we did about a month ago on FSD Beta 10.11.2 and we see some huge improvements to how the car performs as compared to before. I'll be sure to link that video below. We do have some disengagements and interventions and admittedly some user error, whoops, but nothing too egregious and definitely avoidable in the future. Again, I want to say thank you to the nearly 100 subscribers who have started following the channel over the last couple months. I hope you've enjoyed the content as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you're new to the channel and do like the content, feel free to subscribe, and no matter who you are, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. With that, let's get into it. And then we commit hard. Uh, I do like the acceleration in this build. It, it's a tad overdone at times though. I think this is actually where I started my last video. Uh, not my last video, but the video that I drove through here with. And so there's some speed bumps coming up. Yep. Just like I said. Uh, so we'll see if the car recognizes them and slows down. Uh, if not, then I will report it. 10.11.2 didn't slow down. Okay, so we did, we did get a little bit of slowdown here for these ones. That's good. Uh, will we slow down? Good, we're, we're slowing down a lot for 10.12.2. So they have made some uh, dramatic improvements between 10.11.2 and 10.12.2 with speed bumps. 10.10.2, I think a lot of the issue it was having was because it was falsely thinking there were speed bumps way more often than there actually were. And so in 10.11.2, they reduced that logic, uh, improved it for 10.12.2. And while we're not getting visualizations for them anymore, like we used to in 10.10.2, um, it, it is good to see the car actually recognizing them uh, and not going a million miles an hour over them like, like it used to. Uh, so the car in front of us here, it's a little unclear if they're taking a left or going straight. Um, they are they're taking a left, so I'm glad they did that and the car is uh, just trying to maneuver, get into the, get into the right lane here. Uh, it was very cautious. Um, I, you know, as a human driver, you would have done that a lot faster, uh, but there was a little bit of confusion there, uh, understandably, between my car and, and the car that was taking the left there. Um, we are going very slowly through this right turn. A um, little bit of, of braking there, I think probably just because it uh, saw the speed bump, uh, so didn't want to go, you know, accelerate too quickly and then have to brake quickly. Overall, the fact that, you know, I, I did I did hit the accelerator a little bit there, just like a, a smidge to get past the car that was turning left back there. Um, but overall, super solid performance of the car. Is it gonna recognize the speed bump? It does. Nicely slows down to, to 17, 18 miles an hour. Can't complain. It's gonna recognize this one. It does a little bit later than the other ones. Uh, thankfully, these aren't super hard speed bumps, so you can you can be going 20 over them and, and to be totally fine. Now this area is a it, you know it's it's not too complicated, but it's uh, um, okay. We're stopping too early here, and this was actually a problem in 10.11.2. Um, it stopped too early for the stop sign. Um, again, we're stopping too early, so I'm, I'm hitting the accelerator just so we can get up to the stop sign. Um, we're back further than I would stop, but it's not a big deal. A um, little close to the curb on the left, uh, but otherwise did it just fine. So we're basically at the destination here. It's gonna hopefully route us into the parking lot. Um, I, I think it's confused where it, exactly it wants to go. Um, okay, well, it's, so I put the navigation marker actually for in the parking lot there. That was my bad. Um, but the, the, the car thought that it was right exactly where it stopped. Um, so that was a bit 
confusing, but uh, user error, not, not car error. All right, so we got a couple more destinations popped in here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how the car does, handles it. Uh, I may have a disengagement in just a minute or two. There's uh, some cop activity happening, I think, on the in the uh, direction that we're trying to go. Um, and so, oh, I'm confused. I think the car was going to take a left across the double yellow lines there, and now it's rerouting. Um, so I'm actually curious to see what happens. Uh, there are pedestrians, so we got to stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the car's the car's definitely confused here. Um, I think it was stopping for those people, but I'm just gonna push it through. Um, yeah, the car's very very confused right now. Uh, I don't know exactly where it's routing. Um, Curious to see what it does though. Because this is a, a strange roundabout here. Um, yeah, the car seems extremely confused. I'm actually going to take over for a second here because uh, I don't want to confuse every single person around right now. Um, so I'm just going to. Let's see. What's it? Just gonna let it reroute get get back to what it wants to do i think it has the destination okay i think it rerouted we should be good uh however i am gonna have to take over because the direction uh the for sure the direction it wants to go i believe is um, what are we doing here all right now we're gonna wait for pedestrians it's picked a lane now, so it knows where it wants to go. Um, it just needs to commit once once the pedestrians have made it through the crosswalk. Okay, I'm gonna hit the accelerator because there's no reason to wait any longer. Um, all right, I uh, disin. I don't know what's. I think the car wants to go straight here because that's what it it's saying. Um, it just thought that the right lane was the one that you go straight in, and it's actually not. The, the right lane only goes right. Okay, so we're taking left here. I actually don't think we're going to be blocked by any police activity. So we have an unprotected uh, left here. It's just one lane of traffic each way. I think we have a pretty big opening, so we should be able to go no problem. Um, I'm excited for 10.13 because it sounds like unprotected lefts are going to be uh, improved. The car just needs to commit a little bit faster uh, and obviously make the, the correct decision while doing so. Uh, but in that case, there was, you know, a, a ton of open space. And so recognizing that, you know, just a fraction of a second earlier and, and committing would be nice. We're back on our way. <laughs> it's a really long light. So you can, might be able to tell there's a biker in the right lane. Most of the cars are going around the biker. I uh, don't know what FSD is going to do here exactly. Um, we, we do have an opportunity here though to go around this biker, uh, which we're going to do. Um, not the not the best maneuver there that's for sure definitely could have used our turn signal i think the person behind me is shaking their head because that wasn't uh it's not typically uh the way you handle that situation uh, but the car technically did it okay i'd be curious to go back and look to see if uh how close they were to me because i think they were pretty close My 
might get stuck. No, we're, okay, I'm tapping the accelerator a little bit just to just to push us through, and now we're good. Made it through the difficult part, and we do have to take a right up here. So the car needs to get over in a second. There's still plenty of time. It doesn't actually hurt to do it after the freeway. Oh wait, no, we don't. We're not taking. We're going a slightly different way to the dog park. There are two entrances to the dog park. And I have reminded myself that we're taking the uh, slightly more interesting, complicated uh, way because it is—it's a two-lane unmarked road. So I, I want to see how the car does, and it's—it's it's coming up right here. Um, oh wait, actually, it's one lane through here. I take that back. And it's two lanes on the way back, unmarked. Um, so we'll see—we'll see how the car does. But it's wide. It's a really wide lane. We have lead cars, so the you know, FSD has a, a little bit of direction to follow here, but we are sticking a little bit further right than most of the other cars. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a Costco, so there's like a million people here too. Um, yeah, cars, cars a little hesitant right here. Um, a little nervous feel it because it's jerking the wheel more than usual um, so we need to stay to the left here which is good so then we have a right here there's no stop sign it's just a, a straight straight right uh, we turn our turn signal on I'm tapping the accelerator a teeny bit to get us through uh, yeah the car's wanting to stop here because it's just a little confused then we have this massive massive open lane without any red markings the car seems super confident in what it wants to do it's just going straight um, no hesitation and in a second we'll get to our destination turn around uh, do it on the way back which I think is actually the more interesting uh, situation and then uh, head to our next location give us to go around this car and cool. All right, so like I was mentioning, this is the slightly more tricky direction because I think it's actually two lanes that aren't marked uh, going the same direction. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Is correctly not stopping. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, it's you could consider this one lane, but I, I do think it's actually two. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, I've never seen a car parked there. It's red, so they're not supposed to be there. But yeah, our cars. See, it's as you can tell, it's it's trying a little bit to imagine there being two lanes there. Um, it's inferring that there's there's two lanes, which is super interesting. Because uh, as a human, it, that's kind of what it seems, and, and then it does break into two lanes, but it, it um, it's not so clear that that's the case. But I'm glad it, I'm glad it did it well. It actually handled that um, superbly. As you saw, the car actually performed quite well in the scenarios I put it in. It wasn't perfect by any means, but a huge improvement over previous builds. I still can't get over how human-like this build is with the smooth turns and acceleration and overall driving decisions. It's really incredible and impressive stuff. Anyway, if you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.